So what is project design? Much as you design the software system, you must design the project. Designing the project means accurately knowing how long it will take, how much it will cost, and not just a single coordinate, x and y, it will cost as much it will uh, uh, take this long. In many ways, there are several good ways of designing the project, much like there are several possible good architectures. All good architectures are, in essence, trade-offs, engineering trade-offs. And the same is true with project design. There's quite a few, several ways of designing the project, and all of them trade some degree of schedule and cost and risk with the other. So you trade some schedule for some cost or risk. And what you want to do is you want to present the decision makers with several good options. I like to say that you have to craft an environment where even bad managers make good decisions. And the way you do that is by only offering good options. What you absolutely must avoid is no options. And that's a classic mistake. So the architect works on the architecture, come up with his grand design. Everything is wonderful. All the layers, the components, the services. And then they do a design review, and the boss says, I like it. You have a year. And so there's a complete disconnect between the architecture versus the time that is given to do it and the resources. Who says that, in fact, that they're actually doable? And so you mustn't get to that point. You have to be the one, and you have to be proactive about it. You have to be the one providing the schedule, the cost, and even the risk with the architecture. Not as you validate your architecture in doing system design, meaning can this architecture address the required behavior, you have to validate your project plan. Can the team and the schedule that they have deliver on this project plan? Now, I tell you that devising a good project plan and answering these questions, all of it stems from the system design. This is not something that you can do without system design. You cannot design a project without knowing the architecture. Any attempt to do it is folly. You have to do the system architecture first. Out of that, you come up with a project to build it. It turns out addressing all the aspects of project design is a hardcore engineering task. And you apply very similar techniques to system architecture to project design. It, much like system architecture is not something the architect can do in isolation, project design requires both the project manager and the architect to find the best overall plan. Project design is not project management. It's a common misconception. The best way I can explain that sentence is that project design to project management is the same as system architecture is to programming. Project design is not something the project manager can do alone. He or she was never qualified or trained in the project uh, design techniques. The architect has to be the one providing that information, work with the project uh, manager. Project design enables you to provide visibility to shed light on dark corners. Often people don't want to hear the truth. But the fact that people have a tendency of averting the truth and reality it doesn't mean you should dust it under the carpet. In fact, the darker the corner, the more light you want to shine there. You really want to force managers to think through the work before it begins. They have to recognize all the indications. They have to understand what is involved before they commit to it. It's suicidal to commit to a project that's going to cost more or take longer than what is conceivably feasible. As the work starts, there's mini project design cycle where things change and things are being dumped or changed. You have to do a mini project design cycle. And that actually forces managers again to think through the impact of change once the work commences. Just as it's important to stay on track all the time. 